Hello everyone, uh, I just thought I would do a quick little video uh, talking about Windows 8. Um, I've seen lots and lots and lots of YouTube videos all about Windows 8 and I just felt I'd put my two cents in. Uh, the I really like it, i uh, just come off from that standpoint as everyone should know, I really 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 like it, I'm not one of the haters. Um, one of the things that I uh, really like about it is I can see how brilliant it is going to be for touch although I haven't actually used it on a touch device I've used it on a desktop uh, with keyboard and mouse and I've also used it on a touchpad laptop um, and so uh, I don't like it as much on the laptop with the touchpad uh, we'll talk about that in a second I'm just going to log in whoops um, uh, yeah, I don't I don't like it as much with the touchpad um, and the simple reason is uh, at the moment I'm using a mouse so it's nice and easy, but it's getting from one side of the screen to the other. Uh, now, there is a blog post uh, about six years ago on uh, Microsoft Developer Network uh, explaining how the, the difference between having to move a long distance to click on something big to a short distance to click on something small is relatively the same thing as far as ease of use, um, which I see the logic and I know the theory behind it, but when you put it into practice, I find with touchpad because you're constantly having to move your finger back and forth to try and slide from one side of the screen to the other, um, I find it's not as true. Um, mouse, not a problem. I can get from one side to the other in pretty much the same amount of time. Uh, but the touchpad, yeah, it is it is a little bit slower. Uh, the big thing, what I really want to talk about in this video, though, is the start menu, because a lot of people have been complaining about it, and the fact that it doesn't exist. It does, but you just there's no button for it. As you can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, there is no button. Um, it makes complete, total sense why there is no start menu button. Um and the reason is simply that there isn't uh, that the start menu doesn't shouldn't be on the taskbar anymore because the taskbar isn't necessarily in the bottom left hand corner because previous versions of Windows by default the start menu is always on the bottom and there's always this uh, there's always the start menu button um, on the bottom left hand corner so they just put it on the taskbar. Uh, now, going back to versions of Windows prior to Windows 2000, this is uh, mentioned in the blog uh, article that I'll put in the link. I'll put in a link below. Um, they also mention that prior to Windows 2000, if you were to click on the Start menu button, um, or if you there was actually a little pixel border to the bottom on the bottom left of the Start menu button, that if you were to go past the button and click, it wouldn't work because you had to click directly on the button. They fixed that in Windows 2000, but it's still a case of uh, now, if you want to click on the start, you know that you can just go as far to the left as you possibly want, and far, as far as the bottom, and you can keep trying to go left and bottom and you know hit the bounds of the screen and click, the start menu is going to come up. And so the same principle applies now uh, in Windows 8, and it's more, it actually makes more sense now. So. I will show you. Uh, so I'm just going to go down here to the far bottom left of my screen, not the not the task menu, but the screen, and you notice I get this nice little start thing saying, hey, here's the start menu. Uh, I'm going to open an app. Uh, let's open the photo app, something nice and simple. Um, now, what we'll find is once this app loads up, that we can actually go to the top of the app, and my cursor should turn into a hand. I can now drag this hopefully, I don't think I click properly, I can drag this and I can dock it to the left or right side of the screen. If I dock it to the right, um, that's fine. And nice big blank space here. If I click on that, I'm going to say I want the desktop in there. You can now see that I've got the desktop on the left part of my screen and the Photos app on the right part of my screen. This is so we can easily do multitasking and have two programs running at the same time. Um, now I can also go like this and make this the bigger area. Um, 
and change it depending on what my app is doing. This is really, really good if I wanted to have Word open and do documents and do all my work, but I just happen to be on a tablet or on a laptop and I'm the passenger in a car, I could have the map up over here and I could be saying, oh, you've got to turn left in, uh, you know, fire at the next traffic light. So I kind of like this idea. Um, but as you can see, bottom left-hand corner, still the start menu. If I wanted to put this app on the left-hand side of my screen though, so let's just grab it up the top and drag it over here. We have now got our desktop, which is an app, which is running on the right side uh, here. But the start menu isn't there, which makes sense because we don't have a task menu button down here, but it is still in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. So it hasn't really taken away anything that was different about previous versions of Windows or anything like that. It's just that it's in the bottom left end area of the screen because the corners are the four easiest parts of the screen to get to in terms of um, dragging and moving and things like that. As So you can always just go, okay, go as far to the bottom left, that's my start menu. As far to the bottom right, that's the charm menu as they call it now. Um, so you can see the charm menu comes up with my name on it. Um, and then the top right is this little thing so I can quickly switch through apps, which doesn't work when I'm in dock mode. So let's get rid of it. Um, and you can see I can quickly switch through apps. It's, they're all special things. Um, top right is also charm menu too. I just learned something. Um, so they they all make sense that these, those are the corners easy to get to. And Windows 8 now has a nice little feature if you're running dual monitors that the corners actually snap. So if you go within eight pixels, I think it is, of the bottom corner, it'll actually lock to that corner. Because I, if anyone's used dual monitors, you'll know that clicking on the bottom corners of the screen is really annoying because you try and move it and all it does is go onto the screen next to it. But if you go for the corner, it actually realizes you're trying to go for the corner. Whereas if you go through the middle, it will actually go on to the next screen. So there are some nice little user f features here to make this work really, really well. Um, and that's really all I wanted to talk about. So for those people that are hating the lack of the start menu, it's still there. It's just that we've got to get out of the, the mindset that it's on the taskbar. It's not. It's on the bottom left of the screen. Just by default, it has been in every other version of Windows. Okay.